everything that I love about Call of Duty is in this game mode. I get asked a lot, why do I like war? Why do I like war? It's fast paced, it's objective based, and it's so much fun. It's what, for me, encapsulates Call of Duty. Running around, taking objectives, silence SMG, and I am using the MP40 Son of Mars, and oh baby, this gun. This gun is a monster and a kitten all rolled into one. So, when I was using the MP40, you unlock this by prestiging the Division Airborne, which I'm sure you already knew about that. When I unlocked the Son of Mars, I was like, why can't I use it? Why can't I use it? And then I was told, oh, you have to rank up your Airborne class to make that happen. Fair enough. So I grinded that away, and using the Son of Mars suppressed on war, it's just a monster for taking out these bunkers right here. Obviously, it's nowhere near as good as a combat shotgun at point blank range, but I digress, this thing's an animal. So, I noticed straight off the bat, first thing that I was struggling with was the recoil on it. Now, the recoil at close range obviously isn't gonna affect anything that much, but I'm not running I'm not running grip. I am running a lens sight and I am running quick draw just to get me up and in them objectives as quick as possible. And when you get into the right positioning with this gun, it just destroys people. It melts people. Like you can come up against them. There is not a goddamn thing they are gonna be able to do about it. If you can get into objectives, then you are golden. Suppressed, dude, when you are using a suppressed weapon in war. The other team just seems to go full retard. They bow at your feet because when they don't know you're coming, they just don't expect it. Nobody expects you to use airborne in war, right? They just don't see it coming. And it's great for it because you can get behind two or three different guys. There's so many explosions going on <clears throat> that nobody can hear your footsteps whatsoever. He's talking about the MP40 when he's using the Type 100 that he just picked up. That gun, that's still that's still my favorite. I'll talk about the Type 100 in a future video. But the grease gun, whilst it has a lot to offer, its drop off and its range is appalling. If you get into gunfights that are even remotely medium to long range, especially when you're using airborne, especially when you're using a suppressor, and I know this comes as standard as a lot of other SMGs, but it still it just feels weak. It feels like a purring kitten, like it could not harm a fly. It just doesn't seem to do anything. And because the recoil on this thing, it just shoots for the moon, it's so hard to control, and when you try and tap fire it, because it's doing next to no damage, it's barely even tickling people, dude. So, whilst the Son of Mars is a great gun for things like this, he says as he gets blown up, for getting into bunkers, and for clearing out objectives, and for them to have absolutely no idea where you are, you're still going to get outgunned at anything past short range, right? That's just the reality of the situation. So if you use this on, like, trying to use this on Operation Whiteout or something, forget about it. It's done. You're just not going to win a gunfight. But I like this. I like this gun. It's got, it, I don't know what it is. It kind of feels like a naughty teenager to me, you know? It's like, it's a little shitbag and he smokes and he occasionally does weed on the weekends and he's 16 and he goes out drinking. But he's still got a heart of gold and he still works a job to help his mum pay for the shopping and things like that. That's kind of how I feel about this gun whilst I want to say, oh, I hate you, I hate you, I hate you, I hate the resistance class, motherfucker. And when I'm at range or anything past like short distance, like I hate this gun, I hate this gun, I hate this gun. But then when you get it up close and you do get into people's faces with it, it's like, no, nah, you could never hurt me. I love you. It's like that. I just came up against a flamethrower guy with a suppressor on at point blank range and he just got melted. Two guys come running into the room. They got fucking destroyed, man. This is where this gun shines. But it's very niche. It is very, very niche. And whilst the fire rate is good, it reminds me a lot of the Black Ops 2 Scorpion. Whilst obviously it's nowhere near as... Rate of fire is nowhere near as powerful as that. It still gets the job done. But does it compare to the Type 100? No, it doesn't. If you were going to compare this to anything, I'd probably compare it to the Grease Gun. Just whereas this is more stopping power at close range than what the Grease Gun does. In the right hands, the MP40 is just an absolute monster. In the wrong hands, just leave it. 